Hello students, in this current video I will cover the most significant topic that is time value of money. Here I will uh, explain the concept of future value of money. This is the first video on this topic. In this video I will cover annual compounding concept, multiple compounding period concept as well as effective interest rate calculation. I will make one more video on future value of money wherein I will explain when series of cash flows or series of amount deposited or invested how to calculate future value in that case that will be covered in the next week dear students i am making these videos by putting my best efforts and you can contribute to this channel by using thanks button your contributions will play a very significant role i hope you understand and do contribute for this channel let's start the video so first concept is annual compounding period concept the formula for calculation of annual compounding vn is equals to v0 into 1 plus i whole to the power of n where vn is equals to future value after n number of years v0 is equals to value of money at time 0 that is original sum of money the original money which is now deposited i is equals to interest rate n is equals to number of years what we will calculate in this con by using this formula we will calculate the future value of rupee if you deposit certain amount at i interest rate for n number of years what will be the value in future right i'll take an example if you deposit 10000 at the rate of 8% interest what will be the value after 5 years after 6 years so on we can calculate with the help of this formula so let's start the problem calculate the future value of rupees 20000 invested now for a period of 5 years at a time preference rate of 8% in the sense interest rate is 8% so how to solve this problem the formula is vn is equals to vo v0 into 1 plus i whole to the power of n see instead of v some people say p principal value whatever it may be the content the original content of the formula will remain same we may use different symbols here but remain same don't get confused with the different symbols right next uh, so when you come to this question vn is equals to future value after five years we have to calculate v0 is equals to 20,000 now we are depositing 20,000 i interest rate we are getting eight percent number of years are five n is equals to. with the help of this we can apply the formula v5 is equals to value after fifth year is equals to 20,000 into 1 plus 0 0.08 why we have taken 0 0.08 here 8% can be written as 0 0.08 that is 8 by 100 will be 0 0.08 whole to the power of 5 if you simplify this equation you will get the value 20,000 into 1 plus 0 0.08 whole to the power of 5 will be 1.4693 when you multiply this you will get 29,386 rupees in the sense if you deposit today 20,000 at the rate of 8% interest if it is getting compounded annually, you will be getting after 5 years 29,386 rupees. I hope I made you understand this crux with the help of pharma. Even we can calculate this value by using future value table even. Right? Here I have shown the future value table. How to find out the value? We can calculate this. We can find out this value on a table by taking on row we have percentage on column we have number of years. So we are depositing for how many years 5 years 8 percent so 5 years in a column and 8 percent in row you will find out this value that is 1.4693 i have highlighted here with red color 1.4693 the same value we got even with the formula also so either formula or table you will get the same answer i hope the concept is clear we'll proceed with the next concept multiple compounding period concept in this case the formula vn is equals to v0 into 1 plus i by m into m into n where vn is remain same future value vo v0 is remain same uh, the original value that we are investing now i is equals to interest rate n is equals to number of years the new word we are getting here m m stands for number of times that is frequency of compounding per year in the sense what if just now whatever we discussed earlier that was annual compounding only once compounding is taking place but in this case the compounding will take place multiple times in a year it may be 
quarterly it may be half yearly it may be monthly it may be for every two months even so like that the compounding will take place in such a case how to calculate the value of rupee in future if you see the question calculate the compound value of rupees 10000 at the end of 3 years at 12% rate of interest when interest is calculated that is compounded annually that is yearly half yearly quarterly and monthly four situations we have given annually we have already discussed with the help of the this formula we can calculate half yearly quarterly and monthly so let's start this video when you come to the answer the formula is where vn is equals to v0 into 1 plus i by m into whole into m into n whole to the power of m into n this is the formula so first we'll take up annual compounding already we have done one problem based on this simple concept m will not be available in this formula because m will be one only because it will be compounded one so even you take one that will be the same answer therefore v3 is equals to 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 12 percent in the sense 0 0.12 i have written whole to the power of 3 if you simplify this equation the factor we are getting 1.4049 multiplied with 10,000 we'll be getting 14,049 rupees is the annual compounding answer this is not half yearly quarterly now we will understand half yearly compounding so v3 is equals to apply the formula 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 2 why did i take this 2 here when we are compounding half yearly how many times we will compound in a year because year consists of 12 months half yearly in the sense every 6 months compounding is taking place in the sense how many times in a year it will take place twice 2 times therefore m is equals to frequency of compounding in the sense twice the frequency of compounding will take place 2 times so then 2 into whole to the power of 3, 3 years, 2 is frequency. When you simplify this equation, you will get compounding factor that is 1.4185. Then final answer will be 14,185. In the same way, you have to calculate for quarterly compounding even. So V3 is equals to 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 4. Why did I take 4 here? When we are compounding quarterly, in the sense every 3 months, how many times we will compound four times in the sense three months comes four times in a year so frequency will be four times so 0 0.12 divided by 4 whole to the power of 4 into 3 3 years for the frequency again if you simplify this equation the factor will be 1.4257 multiply with this you will get 14257 if it is monthly compounding v3 is equals to 10,000 into 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 12. In the sense what? Why did I take 12 here? It is taking 12 times frequency. That is 12 times it is getting compounded. So that's the reason why 12 I am taking. So hold to the power of 12 into 3. When you simplify this equation, you will get the answer. The factor is 1.4307. This factor I am talking about because if you simplify 1 plus 0 0.12 divided by 12, you will get the factor. That is 1.4307. So the resultant figure is 14,307. Clear? So with the help of this, you can calculate by using the formula. Suppose if it two months compounding, then how many times it will compound? Six times. So you can take six as a denominator in the formula. Clear? In this way, you can calculate the future value of the rupee when multiple compounding periods are given in the question. Clear? Now the same answers I have furnished here. But the question arises how to find out these values on future value of table. So I have provided table also. I hope it is visible to you. So future value of table on this table how to calculate this value. How to sorry how to identify how to find out these values. So first one is quite simple because we are using 12% interest which is there on rows. Row is percentage column is year. So 12% interest if you take and years are 3 so i have highlighted here the factor value is 1.4049 so if you observe the first one factor value we got the same value 1.4049 some points different will be there if you take three digits four digits five digits right decimal value may be changed but the same value we got here clear then how to find out the value when it is twice the compounding four times compounding and 12 compoundings in a year suppose if it is half yearly compounding in the sense we have if you observe in the formula we have put 
we kept 0.12 divided by 12. In the sense what? 0.12 divided by 12 is equals to 0.6. In the sense 6%. So in order to find out this value on table, we have to take 6% as interest because 0.12 divided by 12. And the number of years we have to take 2 into 3. That is 6 years we have to take. This is you please bear in mind. Always percentage divided by frequency should be taken as percentage and power which is available 2 into 3 that should be taken as years. So 6% interest 6 years. If you see I have highlighted this value at 6% interest 6th year value is 1.4185. The same value we got as a factor 1.418. Quarterly compounding. Again 0 0.12 divided by 4 is equals to 3%. 4 into 2 12. In the sense, how to calculate this? At 3% 12 years. If you see on the table, at 3% 12, 12 year, 12th year, we are getting 1.4258. The same value we got 1.4257. One decimal change we got, that is fine. If you round off, if you take 3 digits, 4 digits, the value may be little bit different. That is 1.4257 we got, 1.4258 there we got, right? So, is it clear to you? I hope I made you understand. In the same way, when it is monthly compounding, 0.12 that is 12% divided by 12 is equals to 1%. So, we need to calculate at 1%. 12 into 3 is equals to 36th year. So, last 36th year I kept here. So, the value will be 1.430. So, this value is highlighted here 1.4308. So, if you observe the factor on monthly compounding, 1.4307 we got, decimal change we got here, okay. I hope I made you understand how to calculate with formula and how to use the table even. This table I have created by using Excel. You can also create this table. I will also make video on how to create future value, present value tables on Excel. So, this is the table also I have provided here. You can uh, take the screenshot of this table for your uh, utilization while solving the problems. Now next and last item is effective interest rate calculation. EIR is equals to 1 plus I by M into all to the power of M minus 1 wherein we will calculate effective rate of interest. EIR is equals to effective rate of interest. I is equals to interest rate. M is equals to frequency of compounding per year. So when you do this problem we will understand better. So 12% rate of interest on deposit and we need to calculate effective rate of interest when compounding is taking place yearly, half yearly, quarterly and monthly. Same way, very, very quickly we will do this problem. So yearly compounding formula 1 plus 0 0.12 that is 12% will be written as 0 0.12 minus 1. We will be getting the answer 0 0.12 or 12% same. If it is annual compounding the result and answer will be remain same the 12%. But if it is Compounding half yearly, quarterly and monthly, the resultant figure will be differ. That will increase, the percentage will increase. That you bear in mind. If it is half yearly compounding, EIR is equals to 1 plus 0 0.12 whole divided by 2 whole to the power of 2 minus 1. 2 is the, what is 2 here? The frequency of compounding. That is twice it is getting compounded. Right? So, if you simplify this equation, we are getting answer is 0 0.1236 or 12.36 percent. Please bear in mind the interest percentage effective rate has been increased when we have half yearly compounding when compared with annual compounding. Please bear in mind this is a very important thing you need to understand. Quarterly compounding, same way we have taken divided by 4. So, if you simplify this equation, we are getting 0 0.1255 are 12.5 percent again the percentage has been increased from 12.36 to 12.55 clear when it is monthly compounding we have taken denominator 12 here so if you simplify the equation we are getting a percentage 12.68 percent that is 12.68 in the sense it is increased from the quarterly compounding in the sense what when compounding increases the effective rate of interest is also increasing. This is the very significant feature you must note it down. Clear? So whenever compounding is done very frequently, the deposits will give you more money, more return, more future value. Clear? So what is the normal rate of return? That is 12%. 
but it is compounded half yearly the effective rate is 12.3 percent 12.36 quarterly compounding 12.55 percent if it is monthly compounding 12.6 per 6 8 percent right so in this way you can calculate these values clear i hope i have given my best and made you understand please do subscribe my channel follow my channel and please use the thanks button to uh, do contribution for my channel right so i have furnished one question here calculate future value 30000 investment 4 years we need to calu calculate preference rate is 8% that is interest rate is 8% here i have included all the concept that we have studied so far in this video clear the answer of this video i will provide in the next video which will be made on series of cash inflows are deposited in the bank are invested there i will provide the answer of this video answer of this question sorry right so please do solve this problem and watch that uh, video to understand the answer clear i hope i made you understand thank you very much for watching the entire video so i wish you all the best uh, do subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide Thank you very much.